to the Sisters Like Us podcast. I'm Lakin, and I'm 30-something. I'm Allie, and I'm 20-something. Join us each week as we talk about anything and everything. So grab a glass of wine or a bottle, and let's dive in. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Welcome to, I can't even remember what number on. 35. It's six. I think 36. I think 35 is what we did the other That's day. That's a lot. That is a lot. So... This episode is only being recorded a couple days after the last one. It's also 10.22 in the morning. Yeah, so, so we have not broken out the alcohol yet. We are going to try the other new thing that I bought, but we're starting with coffee slash water. I already had a full cup of coffee, so Allie was like, why don't you have coffee? And I was like, let me just tell you so everybody can hear why I don't have coffee. So I got this aura ring. Do you know what? Have you ever heard of this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in like October, and I love it. And one of the things that I try to do is when my sleep score is above a certain number, I only get one cup of coffee. Like Uh, I don't need, I don't need it. I got a really good night of sleep last night. Lila was at mom's. I slept in. I actually didn't drink last night at the show. So like I got a really good night's sleep. I don't need two cups of coffee. Okay. So I already had my coffee for today. And so I'm going to hydrate during the first half of this episode. And then, and then we'll move on. I should hydrate. Okay, well, you can share some of my water. Um, anyway, and also to explain how we look right now, I think we talked about it on last week's episode, but we are going to Chicago Pride Fest once we're done recording. We should have put that behind us. <laughs> With the rainbow. I, I told you that last week that we should have put it behind us. It's so cute. But just you mean for today? Yeah. Or we should have, like, stuck the pride flag. We're so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited to see JoJo see you. So first off, have you ever been to Pride Fest? No. Okay. I've never been to Pride. Okay. I'm so excited. I mean, I went last year, but I was very uncomfortably pregnant. They only have porter potties, which at least they have something, but when you are pregnant and you have to pee every like 30 minutes, it was not fun. Yeah. And just like, you know, I can only be on my feet for so long. And there was a point where I wanted to just like sit on the curb and it was just the whole thing. So I'm very excited to go to rally today. It's going to be so fun. So we're going all together as a family. When Lila gets up from her first nap. As a family. Well, yeah. Well, I guess, yeah, Mark and Mom bailed on us. But you, me, and Sam, and Lila. That's our family. I was going to ask you this. How, like, how long do you think we're going to last? Well, in general? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so let me finish the first part of this. Okay. So we're going to go all together. Mm-hmm. And... Have, Sam is excited about the food, and there are performances all day. There's three stages, and there's, there's like a drag performance, isn't there? Almost, I think every other one is drag, like the performances, and then but then there's other performances. Um, last year we saw the Chicago Gay Men's Chorus, and they it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll walk around, have drinks, have food. There's also shops, like queer owned local shops, oh, like cool. set up booths. So there's like so that's what we will do in the first couple of hours and then Sam's gonna bring Lila home for her nap and that is like almost the perfect timing for us to then you know make sure we get a good spot and whatever for Jojo and then commas of- <laughs> so it's the only that was on my list do you know any other songs by Jojo <laughs> okay cool. except for um that one song when she was like really little um wait <laughs> it's so catchy hold on I gotta find it now Maybe we should, like, listen to some JoJo for a bit. Wait, Karma's literally her number one song. Of course it is. Oh, JoJo Siwa Kids. Boomerang. Oh, yeah, Boomerang. But so, like, like a boomerang. I wonder if she'll sing covers. She has to, because the only song that she has that's not JoJo Siwa Kids is Karma. Or maybe she's doing other stuff. Like, maybe. She, maybe she's just, like, talking. No. No, the performances are all. Or dancing. Yeah, you know, maybe she's, I'm, I'm here for that. I don't know. I've seen some pretty questionable <laughs> things. I'm so excited. So JoJo goes on at two, which we were saying before we started recording. I am shocked she's like the two p.m. slot and not like the seven p.m. slot. I, you know what? I feel like she might. It might. It might be because maybe the people who made the schedule thought that she does feel appeal to kids. Yeah, and so it does get more rowdy as the day goes on. Like earlier in the day, it is. You know, like I'm taking my almost 10 month old, but I probably wouldn't take her at 7 p.m. I just, I fear with Lincoln and I <laughs> are by ourselves. And yeah, no one else there to check us. <laughs> yeah, because like, I just feel like. The difference is when we're by ourselves. I know, but here's the difference. 
it's 2 p.m. When we're by ourselves and I know that Lila's done for the day, you know, until the next day, that's risky. But she is going to wake up from her nap and somebody still, I mean, obviously Sam could parent her for that last wake window, but like, I was well, I, I, I foresee Drunk Lincoln and Allie wanting to see the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> so. And then I, I envision like, yeah, we stay for a couple hours while Lila's asleep and then we come back maybe go find some like actual food, whatever. Yeah. TBD. Yeah. You know? So we'll see. Well, I, I was telling my friends that we were going to do this and they were like, you should like vlog. Like the sisters like us should vlog it. Oh, that's a fun idea. We could, you, we could like just take clips and then make like a compilation on Instagram, like a yeah. reel of like all the different yeah. clips. Um, that'd be fun. Yeah. And we can like every time we like get a new drink, we can be like, okay, this is what we're trying. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, we can totally do that. I don't necessarily want to post it in real time. No, I don't. Because I, I know you make fun of me for my weekend recap. No, on I love. I look forward to your weekend oh. recap. Uh, I mean, I've been on Instagram for over a decade. Like mm -hmm. I've had my Instagram handle and posted on Instagram yeah. for over a decade, and I have always tried to balance the line of like posting and being in the moment, mm -hmm. right? The, even more so now that Lila's here, I'm really trying. I've always not posted in real time for safety purposes, but now I really like not posting over the weekends. And then on Mondays doing like, here's all the pictures and videos I took over the weekend that yeah, I no, do I share. Love it. So I love that. I'll be taking a selfie though for us. I think we could take one picture that we post on, on the story today, but yeah. it's- Well, I wore one for my story too. Oh, also. It's different, I think, on the slew Instagram because we don't have near as many people. Because part of it is, yeah, guys, follow, follow us. Instagram. Because I feel like a lot of people from your Instagram still, like, listen and, like, like our stuff because you, like, collaborate the posts. Yeah. But I feel like you guys just need to follow sisters like us. We're almost to 400 followers. That's so exciting. Even though that's, like, that's still, like, a handful of people. No, that is... A, especially it's like a handful. It's like a little <laughs> handful. I want you to imagine. This is what I've always heard business coaches say. Imagine you're in a room with that many people. Like think about like a 400 person wedding. Anyway, we got off topic, but asking you if you knew any other Jojo Siwa songs was on my list. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang. But she did like go on a full blown tour. A kid's tour. And what did she, but did she, she sing her song. own song? Or she sang like the kids song? So maybe that is what she's singing today. Maybe we are going to see Jojo Siwa sing all her kids stuff. Well, from the videos, it looks very questionable that that's what she's going to be singing. What videos? You haven't seen the videos of her like literally like, like, Do you not want to put, know putting her hand in her shirt and like, or no. her, oh, like she's being very like sexual. But what is she singing there? Karma. Oh. Well, that's fine, but okay, great. She's gonna sing Karma, but what else is she going to sing? Oh, LA Pride Recap, okay. So she's doing this show at other cities too. Wait, she was just taking a fucking swig. Where is that? Like, whoa. She's not she's, doing kids. Yeah, she has the whole thing of vodka. She's not 21. Yeah, she is. Did she, she just turned 21? 21. Mm, that's good oh, because, for her. Yes, because the Pride Fest, uh, for uh, LA, LA was her 21st birthday. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect timing. I wonder if she's doing, it's kind of nice that all the big cities do different weekends. Yeah, you're chugging them. Good idea. <laughs> um, it's kind of nice that all the prides, the big cities do different weekends. So it sounds like LA was last weekend. Chicago is this weekend. I wonder if she's going to New York next week Yeah, to do New York, but New York doesn't do a pride fest. They just do a parade. Um, I think I mentioned this before somewhere. It could have been on my own channel though. Pride Fest that we're going to do today is awesome and unique, and New York doesn't have anything like that. It's more just like bars celebrating and doing their own things, but the New York Parade was most definitely better. I guess we'll see. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm we'll excited. you guys our recap next week. Well, so that's funny because I'm leaving to go out of town. Oh, right. So we could try and squeeze one in just so that we can recap Wait, we Pride. we one. No, we didn't. We said we were going to just take a week off. No, we're going to take a week off. Okay. So we just will maybe recap on Instagram. That has a very busy week next week. Yeah. So it's okay. So yesterday we went and saw Inside Out too. We did. We had a, we had a little matinee. Oh yeah. We. I, well, so I was telling Allie, Sam and I used to do this all the time in New York when we lived in the Upper East Side. We lived around the corner from an AMC, and if you went to a show before noon, it was half price. 
So we would go to Dunkin' and we would get breakfast sandwiches and coffee and sneak them in and have like breakfast morning movie dates at the movies. And that's so, what we did yes, yeah, so that's what we did yesterday. It was so fun. It was so fun. I love it. I, I would much rather go to a movie at 11.30 than 7 p.m. So. You know, yeah. Especially an animated movie. Right, an animated movie, yeah. Like, I do love a movie night, so I don't know. Yeah. I'm indifferent about that, but um, yeah, the movie was very, very Yes, cute. I mean, I love Inside Out 1, which we rewatched on yeah. Thursday yeah. night, even though we were both like half asleep by the end of it. So tired. But I like crashed when I got home. Oh yeah. It's just such a <clears throat> good way, I think, to think about how our emotions work and how like the inside of our brains and I can't wait to like watch it with Lila and like have her you know I just think they do I such a good job they do such a good job of like really because like obviously in the second one like they introduce like anxiety mm -hmm. and like I'm I, anxiety and I feel like that's like not only you know what a couple there actually I'll go back to that but I just love the way that they portrayed like anxiety not be able to control itself yeah and like also like thinking of anxiety is like what I've always done as someone who like you know deals with it daily is like when you are anxious you have to think of it as like it's just your mind like your body trying to protect you that's like, the one thing I do to help me get through it and like them saying that in the movie like I literally lost it I was like that is literally like you know and then sometimes joy is helpful when you're yeah. anxious and sometimes you just have to be anxious. Yeah, I you know? I think they did a really great job of not only portraying anxiety, but showing that, and you said this yesterday, that they, we started to talk about the movie in the car, and then I was like, wait, we, we literally wait. were like quiet the whole way. Yeah, then we just drove, we just drove in silence. <laughs> but they, not silence, I guess there was music on, but. Yeah. Um, that they, at the end, not, I mean, I guess we're gonna spoil it, but like, but let's be honest, if this isn't necessarily like a movie that you're like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? Like, it's yeah. a Disney movie. But they don't try to get rid of anxiety. They try to cope. Like, what what do you yes. do? What do you tell anxiety? Because you, yeah, and you spend the whole movie like being like, oh, like fuck anxiety. Like, yes. anxiety's, like the, anxiety's the villain. Yeah. Like, this is so irritating. Like, at the end, like, kind of realizing that, like, you need, like, you need all of your emotions. Yeah, you can't just, and it's kind of the same as the first well, one. Well, yeah, the first like, movie realize, is sadness. Right, right. Like, you realize that like, you need sadness. To, yeah. It's oh, and like it's just it's okay to be anxious. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to have all of these emotions. And like I just like the way that they portrayed that. And then like obviously like the main character has like a panic attack, and like you can see it because she's like you know her heart's racing. She's having tunnel vision, like all of the things. And like anxiety literally is also like losing control because like when you're trying to, when you're in a panic attack and you're trying to like get out of it, you literally like your anxiety is not letting you get out of it. And so it's just like, it's just a spiral, like a domino effect, right? And so just like seeing um, how it was just done. It's just like, it's really, really good. Yeah. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And yeah. we were like bawling eyes out, so it's fine. Yes. So. Oh, I was, I was crying both like for myself, but then also I think like thinking about like raising a child mm -hmm. and trying to explain these emotions to her and like, um, it is funny, the more I watch movies nowadays, I find myself sometimes relating more to the parents in the movie than the main characters. You know, like when I used to watch shows like, I don't know, like Parenthood, right? I, the first time I watched it, I related to like the kids yeah. and then, so whatever. But, um, so I love also seeing, you know, we saw the inside of the parents' head a little bit in the first movie, but again, in this one, but what I liked about this one is they show the, still the main five are still driving the parents. And anxiety's still there in the mom. Like anxiety mm -hmm. shows up and the the one of the emotions in the mom said is like, Hey anxiety, welcome back. Like it's not like she ever goes away. Like it's just mm -hmm. probably a lot more managed because she's not at the main forefront as she is for the thirteen year old. Yeah. And I think too it's like I feel like we've talked about this before, like people in like like older generations, like I feel like we're the fight or flight mode like when they were younger was like more normal yeah because they were there was just like more that they were going through in a sense i i think the older generations struggle to talk about their emotions and so i think you know we in one part when they the put all the other emotions in like a glass jar and they call them like suppressed emotions mm -hmm. i feel like that's what our they're our, like just better at suppressing anxiety and like we're like just like no, I'm going to deal with it and yeah. I'm going to figure out how to like, 
not be so yeah. anxious. Yeah. I feel like there was, a, I was like playing around in my head about like what other emotions that they should like have. Well, okay, go ahead. So I like feel like pain would be a good one. Yeah. You know, like in certain, cause pain is kind of like disgust work and envy where it could be like different like spectrums, right? Yeah. Like it could be like physical pain, but it could also be like not physical like a, pain. Yeah, like, like emotional pain. Yeah. Yeah. I saw an Instagram reel that was saying how in this movie, right, there's four new emotions and they each kind of pair nicely with one of the original emotions, right? Anxiety goes with fear, embarrassment goes with sadness, um, envy goes with disgust, and ennui goes with anger. It's kind of like an opposite there. And so then it was like joy is the only one that didn't get a, a more complex pair and I saw like a theory on Instagram that was like, I think Joy's more complex counterpart is love. But Riley's not ready for love at 13. That will be coming. That's, I know that's what I was, yeah. I was Thinking like high love. school is like, she gets to high school and she has her first love. And love is like the next um, level up emotion and it's Joy's complex emotion yeah no i love that yeah I, it was just a theory like who knows if that's yeah. actually what's gonna happen yeah and I, I i almost sent you the reel and i was like wait no i'm just gonna talk about it yeah <laughs> yeah no i love that i think yeah it'd be so fun to like create them like i, I would know. love to create love <laughs> i know i feel like should be pink well yeah embarrassment's kind of pink but love could be like a hot pink or love could be red anger's red oh uh, love could be purple Fear, I mean, fear is technically purple. They're gonna run out of pills. No, boredom is purple. Boredom's also a shade. They're both shades of purple. Okay. Anyways, this is yeah. It's it is. I think it's really cute. I, yeah, it's I like a really it. cute like film. I love it. It's just a good and it's a great concept. Like yeah. it's Disney being clever and yeah, I love it. I also just love this is like more recent Pixar movies. They're not about like love and romance and relationships. They're about like real life shit. Yeah, you know, I think it's it, yeah, it's nice to see like them creating stuff that like just has an underlying meaning that yeah. like also appeals to multiple audiences. Yeah, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Before we move into these, I do have to say that I had a headache Friday morning. Now it could have been due to a million and one other things like water, food, my allergies, whatever. Like I don't want to blame it on the margaritas. We only had two. They were, but 15% is a lot. Like, you think about that in the grand scheme of things, like, those Happy Dads were five. So, like, that's, like, three of those. So, technically, we had six of those. Yeah, I guess so. Like, it was a lot. Yeah. That's why I was, like, unsure about the second one. Right. Yeah. I definitely woke up with a headache on Friday morning, and I wasn't sure if that, if it was that. But I'm not, it wasn't bad enough that I'm, like, oh, I'm never going to have them again. You yeah. know what I mean? So... The other thing I picked out for us to try were these spiked coconut waters that I saw at Trader Joe's that in my head, I thought they were going to be still and I just realized that it says sparkling on it. So I'm kind of bummed by that, but that is all right because uh, you've heard me talk before that I don't really love bubbles, but maybe this isn't going to be like super bubbly. I don't know, but they are 5% gluten-free, no added sugar, real fruit juice. Yeah, it says real fruit juice, and there's so there's four different flavors. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. I again had never heard of these. I just was browsing and traders. Oh my god, they are so pretty. First drink of the day. Mango. Woo! Nice and cold. It is nice and cold. Okay, so let's start. You have mango, and I have passion fruit. Okay, guys. <laughs> this one. Okay, flip before you sit. Oh. Real juice settles. Wow. This is interesting. An overwhelming amount of work that I have to do before. Okay, I don't think you have to do it that much. All the goodness of coconut water and real passion fruit, playfully spiked and sparkled. No nasty additives. You'll thank us tomorrow morning. Well, let's find out, Sun Boy. Mm -hmm. We can't. Sorry. Oh, you listen to like I. <laughs> yeah. It sounds. It sounds cool. Um, yeah, it's. Oh, that was a bad one. No. Anyway, I, but how we feel tomorrow morning, we can't blame it on, on Sunboy because I have a feeling we're going to drink other shit at the festival. Interesting. I don't, I don't like, like the way it smells. I don't like how it smells. I also don't like mango, really, flavored oh. things. Here, go to switch. Here, let's no, switch. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm going to try them all. Cheers. <laughs> You're I like, I like chill. Oh, 
Okay, well the good news is first, they're not as carbonated as like a typical seltzer. I'm not getting the coconut. I'm not either. Okay, hold on. It really just kind of tastes like passion fruit juice. Oh yeah, this one does smell funny. It just tastes like a seltzer. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Yeah. It's good because it's cold. Yeah, but it does taste more like juice, I think, than the other kinds of seltzers. You know what I do like about it? I don't feel like it's going to make me feel like sh like bloated. Mm -hmm. I like them. Um, okay. We'll start I really want to stick a straw in it, though. All right. So the other two flavors we have are pineapple, which, as we learned from the last one, is typically a good option, and tangerine. Okay. okay. This color scheme. Are you ready? Literally smells like orange. This one smells good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is that the it? pineapple is good because it's giving pina colada. <laughs> oh, because you can kind of taste the coconut. It's good. And this one it really just kind of tastes like orange juice. Pineapple's the best for sure. Okay. For sure. Oh, that's good. This tastes like airborne. Orange. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of taste like a tangerine. Tangerine's a big no. Oh. But it's not as no as like, you can have that. It's not as that no good. as like the wild cherry from the Happy Dad one. Guys, Sun Boy Pineapple. And at Trader Joe's, they did have them where you could buy them individually. Like I bought the variety pack, but you could have bought them individually. This one's so good. Okay, I am gonna go grab a straw because I okay. am, do you want one? Sure. One of the things I had on my list was asking you what I should do. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow for okay. our like very long trip. Actually, before I talk about the color for tomorrow, I'm having a bit of a nail, uh, I don't know what the word is here, like identity crisis. Okay. I used to bite my nails, right? Like for years and years and years, mm -hmm. I was a nail biter. And then I finally stopped biting my nails, but I'm still a picker. Like I will pick out my nails. And so if there's regular polish on them, I will pick at them and it doesn't last that long. At home, I use nail polish called Dazzle Dry that does last longer than regular polish, but it's still not gel, right? It doesn't last that long. Mm -hmm. And so I'm constantly like, not on edge, that's like really dramatic, but like there's always a possibility that it chips and then I pick at it and then I have to redo all, redo mm -hmm. my nails. And I don't mind painting my nails at home. I like my Dazzle Dry system. But it is just something that I'm always kind of in the, it's in the back of my mind. So when I travel, I like to get gel because I like to yeah, have, it's gonna know last. it's going to last. And the place that we go here is ridiculous. And it literally never chips. Like it, I've never had it chip. It like is, I literally have. Right, Ali's showing her nails on the camera. I have like these, okay, hold on. It needs to focus. You, you can you can kind of tell, but they're literally a French manicure. Like, they look like fake nails. Everyone always thinks they're fake. They're fake, yeah. And they're a gel manicure. They're not dip. No. They're not. It's just traditional, traditional gel. It's literally just a gel manicure. But this place is fantastic. It lasts forever. It lasts forever. So, but my only issue with that is growth. My nails do grow pretty quickly. And unlike mm -hmm. you, and I feel like some other people in the world, I cannot function with long nails. Like, if I'm trying to type and my nails are long, mm -hmm. I get so frustrated and angry. Okay. And so when I go get them done, I always have them do them pretty short okay. so that, Charlie. All right, well, Charlie's just in now. Charlie is joining the party. Charlie's joining the party. So I always get them done really short when I get them done so that when they, my issue is always growth before chips, right? Like I'm not going because they've chipped, I'm growing because oh. They've grown out too much. Actually, that's a lot. I'm going because I'm leaving for vacation on Wednesday and they're closed Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. So. Oh, Charlie. So then the problem becomes, right, when they grow out, you can see it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And so originally, like when I was getting them done last time, I thought, okay, when I go before vacation, I'm going to get like a coral. That's the color, like summery mm -hmm. for like a trip. That's what I'm going to do. But then I started thinking, like, especially after seeing yours, and mom currently has French, regular French with white, 
that maybe I do a French, yeah. that way when it grows out, you, can't, you tell. can't tell. Yeah, so that's why, so I'll always go kind of like back and forth, because like my nails grow pretty fast too, so like I'll do a color and then I'll like grow them out, and then that next time I'll do a French with my nails like a little bit longer, um, and then like I'll like go back, and yeah. then I'll kind of like go back and forth. Um, but typically they like need to like kind of know ahead of time because they need like extra time. To do French? Yeah, but like if you, I mean like, you could also just be like, I mean they either say, we're some sort of saying They, they say no. Like, yeah. Yeah, I can ask if there's time for French. I'm also getting a pedicure, so maybe they, that, yeah, they've allocated enough time. So, okay, so then the question is, if I do get French, do I just do white or do I do something do a color. fun? Do a coral. Like a coral tip? Yeah. That'd be so cute. I don't know. I feel like I'm not as cool to like pull off the colored tips. Why? I don't know. I don't know why I'm so nervous about it. Don't be nervous about it. It's so, I love it. I love doing this. This is like, this is also one of my favorite colors. Like my favorite colors are like blue and coral. Yeah. Well, so we'll see. We'll see what I end up deciding. Love. I am getting my, getting my nails done tomorrow, which will feel good. And I haven't had a pedicure in a really long time. I typically don't go because I just no. Charlie does not need to try the sun boy. Anyway, I feel like I, I hate painting, paying for pedicures. I'm like I can paint my own toenails. It's really not yeah, that serious. But, but then you. But once I got in the habit of painting a pedicure, I was like, wow, I like how my feet feel when like they're not like. like I just uh, my I'm so ticklish. My feet are so ticklish. That so is mom. She's like, she's always like. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Oh, Bonnie, she doesn't listen anyway. She doesn't. One time I was like watching it or something like while I was sitting at her house and she was like, oh my God, ha ha ha. And I'm like, yeah, like we're talking about you. And I was like, you don't listen, you should because we talk about you a lot. And she was like, shut up. <laughs> I don't know what that story was. I don't, either. Like, I don't know either, I got distracted. Anyway, so yeah, mom doesn't listen to us, which is fine. And we we say good things. Like we love mom, obviously, um, as you called her the third sister. Yeah, guys, we need a guest to come on our podcast. Let us know who you want to have besides mom. So we could have. Here's our list of options. Of, the harder part about having a guest is, is figuring out the schedule. Yeah. yeah, is the scheduling. If you know, doing it as regularly as we do. Yeah. However, here's an idea. The guest episodes could be good fillers for when we're out of town. Like we could do our regular, you and I chatting regularly, but then like also do an extra guest episode to have for, like it's too late for this trip, but maybe when you're in Italy, yeah, we could have a guest episode. Yeah. Well, I did feel like I did a good job of coming up with ideas, um, but we've talked about them all. Okay. It was inside out nails. And do you know any other JoJo Siwa songs? Yeah. It's hard when we literally recorded two days ago and then we saw each other yesterday. And yeah. now here we are. Yeah. Saturday morning. Well, you saw a show last night. Oh, yes. Sam. So I feel like I'm, well, we did a whole episode on Broadway, I guess. So I probably mentioned it in that episode. Charlie's distracting. <laughs> Charlie is distracting. This is why she's not allowed in here. Just let her be. Anyway, so Sam and I have Broadway in Chicago season tickets, mm -hmm. and we kind of debated it for a while because it is expensive, but we love Broadway. Like, it is a priority for us, and even if, like, this season was six tickets, even if I didn't, like, I didn't, I probably wanted to see four of the six. Two of them, I was like, meh, okay, but, like, we get, a, you get a, such a good deal and guaranteed seats. And most importantly, we don't have to like plan it out. We yeah. don't have to call, like figure out what days we're going, buy the tickets, yeah. ask mom, like all the things. It's just literally like we pay in advance for the whole season. They send us the dates that we have. You can change them out if you need to. Yeah. We send the dates to mom and like it's done. Yeah. However, there is a slight wrinkle in this. So for our next set of shows in the fall, there's only five shows. One of them is that Friday in August that mom's friends are in town and you're in Italy. So we're going to have to find, we're going to have to hire like an actual babysitter to watch Leslie. Lila. Um, oh, she's eating my brushy. Oh, okay. Charlie, this is why you're not allowed in here. Be she's eating my brushy. She's chewing on your bag. She likes the crunchy bag. Where was I going with this? Oh, so last night was the last show of this first bunch. 
and it was The Kite Runner, which I thought I'd probably read that book at some point, but honestly couldn't have told you what it was about. Like, mm -hmm. I couldn't remember what it was about. And it was actually a play. I thought Broadway and Chicago, they were all going to be musicals, but they're not, which makes sense because in the fall we're seeing Harry Potter, which I know is a play because I've seen it. So it was a play. It was heart-wrenching. Like, I... Between Inside Out and The Kite Runner, the amount of tears I shed yesterday... Emotional day. It was a, an emotional day. It is a beautiful story. It is about a little boy from Afghanistan and his childhood there. And then when war happens over there, they escape to America. And then they live here. And then 9-11. Like, it is... It is... Oh, yeah. Heart-wrenching. Um, it's a lot about his childhood friend, his relationship with his dad. It's it's very tough, but it was beautiful. And they did a really good job. Aww. And um, I'm really glad. It was definitely on the list of like, I, you know. I was supposed to see it. Yeah, it was tough, but it was beautiful. It leaves tomorrow, so I don't think you're going to no. squeeze that in. Don't think so. Um, and as always, my husband knows somebody in the show because he always knows somebody in the show. He works in the industry, and it is I was texting Allie last night. It is fun, and I always love that we get to, like, say hi to somebody afterwards, and, like, that's fun, but I'm also exhausted, and I'm, like, really just want to get an Uber and go home and not stand here and wait for this person to come yeah. out and say hi. Yeah. This show, at least, like, they're in, like, the costumes and stuff is, is simple. Mm -hmm. Who, what show is it that we were seeing somebody afterwards that I was, like, it is going to be a Frozen. long time. Oh, yeah, Frozen. Yeah, because he it was Ben. Yeah, he he ben is, like, on stilts yeah. and, like, has this whole situation. Yeah, there was something else recently that I was like, it's going to be a while before they get out here. Yeah. And I had a wedding last night, so I was working really late, so. Yeah, we were both equally up late and exhausted, but we're rallying. Yeah. We're rallying. And I did, we did, like, at, like, respectfully, like, sparkler exits need to go. Like, I'm sorry that if you're doing one, I'm sorry. Like, it's just, it's always a mess. They're never legit because you're not leaving. You're going right back in to get your shit. Yeah. And like the ones last night were like literally not even a foot long. And there was like a hundred people and we like had blow torches trying to like light this shit. It was like the couple was walking behind like the guy that was blow torching like. everybody. And so it was like, and the photographer wasn't even there. So it was just for shits and gigs. <laughs> Wait, somebody had to have taken a picture. No, though. it was literally just for shits and gigs. Yikes. Okay. That is a lot. I, I think it's even funnier. It got everybody out though. Of the yeah, then the they actually thing. left. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's funny when people do it like fake to include so the photographer can be there. Right? Like let's say you're I wedding. support a fake one over a real one. What? Like if you're going to do it for the pictures, yeah. for sure. If you're just doing it to do it. Yeah, right. No. Like because I remember I I have a photographer stay till like nine or nine thirty or whatever. And she was like, you know, do you want to do an exit before I leave? And I was like, no, I don't want to break up my Exits party. Are not like no, I want to. I'm I'm partying also, on the dance floor. I want to stay here. I also saw a bouquet toss for the first time this season, this year. I haven't. So <laughs> the last wedding we went to that had a bouquet toss was the first wedding we went to after getting engaged. It was like two like they they're not a thing anymore. Yeah. So this was October of 2019. It was like two weeks after we got engaged. And no girl likes being on the dance floor for the bouquet toss. Like, nobody likes that. It, nobody yeah. likes acknowledging, like, that they're single, right? Yeah. I don't know. I've never enjoyed being on, going out for the but, bouquet toss. I mean, it, I could skip an awkward conversation. I know people just see me on the dance floor. <laughs> That's very true. So we're at this wedding, and they're like, all right, bouquet toss. All, and they start playing single ladies. And I'm like, all the single ladies on the oh dance floor. God, I, and I was like, I looked at my hand, and I went, I don't have to go out there. And Sam goes, legally you're still single. And I was like, I have a ring on my finger. I don't have to go on the dance floor. I don't have to do this. And he was like, yes, you do. And as we're like discuss having this conversation, the DJ comes on because nobody's like, there's like two people out there. And he goes, all right, ladies, I know there's more single ladies in this house. Here's the rule. If there's no ring on your finger, you're on the dance floor. And I was like, I looked at Sam and I was like, think. And so I didn't have to do it. Oh my And gosh. it felt so good. But I haven't seen one since. Mm-hmm. I did see the one last night. It was it was actually there was a lot of people that like well, how big was the wedding? 115. Oh, well, that was mine. But the wedding last night was beautiful. It was like real fruit on the table. Like literally like so it was like as the centerpieces? Yeah, so it was like red, so it was like pink, yellow, blue and orange and like it was like down the I'll show you a picture. 
and then like next to like next to the pink flowers was like a watermelon and like legit a watermelon like i touched it that's so fun like do you know the vendor that did that that's so cool like legit oh, watermelon so cute. And, and no yeah I, it was i knew the floral company um that did it that's so but fun. yeah so there was like and then like next to the orange it was like literally orange oranges pepper. Oh. no orange pepper. Oh, a pepper literal peppers oh my god so that's so cute and they were so cute like oh and she got her dress at lovely you know full circle oh. you know how it is you know how it is and it was like perfect because of pride and all of the things so yeah that's fun you're going to a wedding this year I feel I like you don't go to a ton of weddings as like a guest because you're not quite there yet. Yeah, it's it's funny because the one I went to last year in LA was um, a friend that was older. Um, she was like our like sorority president when I was like a freshman. Um, and you've been to some family ones, like some cousins on your yeah, dad's side. Yeah, and so that was like my first like friend one. Yeah, because I knew the bride and the groom, um, and also like I've never been to California, so obviously. Um, and then, yeah, I have one in August for a friend that's actually younger than me. Um, and I, I do know the groom as well because I, they've been dating for a long time, but, um. Are they getting married here? They're getting married in the suburbs, yeah. Oh. What suburb? Uh, Linfield. Okay. Are you going to stay out there then? Are you going to stay dad's? I, don't, I haven't thought that far ahead. Okay. Well, I'm just, you know, I'm just asking questions. I'm trying to extend this conversation. I don't know. Okay. I feel like, yeah, I remember when I was your age and it was like going, now I obviously didn't work in weddings, but like going to weddings was so exciting because there were so few and far between. And then this year we have seven. So. Yeah. When you, I mean, I also see like the same one every weekend because it's at the same place. That's fair. So it's not, this, um, yeah, not changing it up at all. But, like, when I worked at my other company and I would see, like, different ones all the time, like, yeah, it was kind of, like, I mean, well, they're still fun to go to because they're always different. And I like to see, like, how people do things differently. I also like to, you know, internally make suggestions to my, to how it's going. But, I mean, they're hard. They're difficult. There's always, it's not possible to be perfect. It's just uh. not. It's just no, I feel like we, we talked, talked about that. that. Yeah, on the wedding episode we did with, with Lindsay about how I mean, something is always going to go wrong, yeah. and you know, you just have to go with the flow yeah. and hope that the one or two things that go wrong are like small and not you know, yeah, disastrous things, right? The weddings we have left this year, we have one at a winery, like in upstate. It's, I could call it upstate New York. It's in like the Hudson Valley. It's like an hour and a half outside the city, but it's mm -hmm. at like a winery. It's going to be beautiful. Wow. Um, so excited. It's also going to be a blast. It's going to be so fun. It's my, one of my dance friends. Yay. And then, and then one back in Houston, one of Sam's childhood friends. This is fun actually. So it's one of Sam, Sam went to a private Jewish high school where he had a graduating class of 50. So mm -hmm. like the complete opposite of our experience. In, in our high school with 1,200 people. Yeah. 1,200 in our graduating classes, not yeah. like 5,000 in high my, school. Like, my like classes, like in school were like they're huge. People. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right. And yeah, that was so, Sam's graduating class was 50. So, so the girl, Sam's class of 2010 and the girl, the bride is Sam's friend and Sam's age. She moved to New York at some point as well. And so we hung out with her in New York she got on the dating apps in New York and ended up meeting this guy who went to their high school but was five years older. And so they had never crossed paths, but in New York, met on a dating app in New York. Aww. Isn't that so fun? So cute. Yeah. And so they are, they're getting married back in Houston because it just makes sense. Yeah. And very cute. Yeah. It's going to be, that. it's going to be fun. They're on our list. I feel like we are very regularly trying to talk so many of our friends to moving here, um, especially our friends that live in New York but don't necessarily have like super strong ties. Like we have friends, like the wedding we just went to in New Jersey, she's from Queens and he's from Westchester. Like they're not leaving the tri-state area, right? right? Like their families are there, like they're not going anywhere. Right. But this couple, who's both their families are in Houston, but they're like, we don't want to go back to Texas. We're like, well, just why don't you come to Chicago? Yeah. It's New York, but less expensive yeah. and cleaner. 
Yeah. Um, there's another couple too, I can't remember who it is, that like live in New York that were like, you should move here. Like it's great. Yeah. It's, it's a great place. So. <sighs> the city's amazing. Yeah. I just can't. I was thinking that too yesterday as we were leaving the show and I was like, you know, we walk out of the show and it does feel like New York to some extent. Like, you know. It, to some extent, but I feel like you just like get so many like, you get the beach, you get, well, I meant in a good way. I meant like it feels like New York and I, yeah. but, and I'm exiting a Broadway show that was amazing. Yeah. And I'm surrounded by all these other people who love Broadway. Yeah. And then I'm going to hop in an Uber and go to my giant apartment. Yeah. Like it just like that. I love that. Dream. Yeah. Dream. Love so it. it's the perfect balance. Anything else on your list? Mom will be here soon with the peanut and we can, uh, I'm know, ready to start this day. Figure out what we're doing. Sounds good. We'll see you see next you time. Then. Bye. Cheers. I mean, I saw you yesterday, but it's been two days since we recorded. I'm not pregnant in case that's what you were freaking out about. <laughs> the, f uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure. I feel like I already have to burp. <laughs>